This is an exhibit of artwork by Ruben Kadish at the Monterey Museum of Art in March and April of 2019. It's called Classic and Surreal. Ruben Kadish was born in Chicago in 1913. His family moved to Los Angeles about seven years later. In LA, he studied at the Otis Art Institute, and he also studied with the painter Lorser Feidelson. Classic art, especially Renaissance art, was the emphasis, but uh, there was an introduction to some modern styles, such as Surrealism and Cubism. This portrait of Ruben's father, Sam Kadish, was done in 1933. These first two about 1931. About this time, Ruben Kadish came in touch with the Mexican artist David Alfaro Siqueiros. He helped Siqueiros painting murals in Southern California. And uh, Siqueiros made arrangements for my uncle Ruben and Philip Gustin to paint a huge fresco in Morelia, Mexico. This is 1934-35, so this is it. It's a black and white photograph taken with the two artists on the left and a friend of theirs, Jules Langsner, a, a writer at the time. This has the unofficial title of Struggle Against War and Fascism. Ruben moved up to San Francisco soon after that. Phil Gustin went off to New York to be with their mutual friend Jackson Pollock. This is one of the mural proposals Ruben made for the WPA in San Francisco, 1936 or 37. There is no official title for this. Seems to be people working, struggling through the Depression. Certainly an example of social realism. While in San Francisco, Ruben took up surrealism. This is untitled, but it is a woman in a desolate landscape. It's from 1938. Surrealist qualities here, repeated figure forms, and an ominous huge skull, an animal skull in the lower left-hand corner, mortality. Also, while he was in San Francisco, Ruben did this drawing, a blind woman pushing a rickety old cart, 1938, in the midst of the city of San Francisco. Here's another one of the proposals for the WPA to paint murals in the city. These are figures working the land digging as a miner. Some figures are also working uh, to drill oil out of the ground. This one, created by Ruben in 1938, is another surrealist approach, San Francisco. If you look closely, there's a figure lying down with a blanket over him, dreaming a very strange demon with big bulging eyes and horns, some sort of a, a, a nose form, a jawbone, forms swirling around left and right, down below some biomorphic forms that look almost, almost uh, uh, as if they're animal type forms. 1938. Ruben went off to World War II as an artist for the army. He recorded some horrific events in Burma and India, and when he got back, his style had changed. Much more angular, much more almost mechanized, machine-like. This is called the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse. Very industrial, very uh, impersonal, you might say. More expressionistic here, no title for this piece, but it seems to be life and death 
a, a human form, a male figure on the left with a noose around his neck, and then a woman, a woman pregnant with a child, leaning over in a very awkward way. Very strange. Also in the realm of uh, abstract expressionism were some of these lithographs. This is from the early 1960s. The others were from about 1943-44. But this untitled piece, done under the auspices of the Tamarin Workshop, is a lithograph. In about 1940, Rubin created this abstract surrealist piece. It is virtually an example of automatism. Forms swirling around, vortices, angular forms coming in, shooting out. And then, very typical of his style after World War II, from the mid to late 60s. This piece, no title, but male and female, abstract expressionist, etching or aquatint. And this, this with seven figures, another expressionistic example of artwork by Ruben Kadish, mid 60s. Right on this side, we have a sculpture that was created by Ruben Kadish from this time. Female figure standing here, mid 60s, early 70s. And then two small mythological figures. Ruben's wife was an archeologist. She brought back uh, diggings from Turkey in particular. These are sort of part human, part animal. Also from the Oh, probably from the early to, to mid-1970s. An abstract piece by Rubin, such as this one, mid-1960s. This is a bronze casting. His work had very organic forms, but again, the, the texture, the action, the, the flavor, very expressionistic. And one of the more recent pieces from 1988, this figure from a series that he called his Holocaust series. Most were untitled, but this one is called Spartacus. 1988, abstract expressionist. There are ridges and scratches that are almost primitive primitive tattoo or Maori type of forms. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this little overview of Ruben Kadish from the Monterey Museum of Art. This is uh, March, April from 2009, uh, 2019 rather. Thank you very much. If you wish to see more, check out www.rubenkadish.org for the Ruben Kadish Foundation. And there are more images on Facebook under the name Ruben Kadish. Thank you.